So qualitative data comes from different forms. We it comes in the form of interviews, texts, it can um, documentary materials, which is the text. It comes in the form of audiovisual materials uh, that you can transcribe into text again. It comes in the form of observation that you can capture into text again. So at the end of the day, whatever you are going to do, you end up expressing it in a text form. So qualitative research has a very text textual in nature. But what are we trying to do? Our data analysis is actually the pre, what we go through in trying to examine and categorizing and tabulating and otherwise combining the evidence for the data in order to address the propositions of the study or the uh, research questions objects of the study. So all of you, if you remember when uh, uh, you look at your questionnaire, um, over there, please try and have a, a session with them to show them the different type of questionnaires and how to develop them. Okay. The holiday is coming, so maybe you can pick one of the days in the holidays you do it. So maybe that Monday or Thursday. Monday is a May day, so that's the best time. The Tuesday is a religious holiday, so our okay. advice of maybe Monday will be better. Now, the idea here is that the questionnaire that you have, you have been able to put certain variables on it to collect data from people. So let's say that you are doing a study on, on, on um, um, uh, factors that influence students, um, uh, stud students' uh, uh, grades in class. So you have a variable called attentiveness, like attention to class, like attentiveness when doing the, the lecture. So you have to go and ask questions around attentiveness, how to measure it. Now, because you have that variable on your questionnaire, as you start collecting data, all those questions that ans answers to those that particular attentiveness variable, or maybe you have another one uh, to uh, uh, another one, class attendance, maybe, or you may have something on uh, um, composure during class, something like that. All those variables that you have there, you are going to have questions about them on the questionnaire. So as you start collecting the data, you the data the data questionnaire is some helps you to start shifting or, or categorizing the different data that is coming. What you are doing is that you are an analysis. So analysis starts at the data collection when you are combining, examining, and categorizing, tabulating the data that you have received, and it relies on the researcher's experience because the more you do data collection, go through um, getting intimate with the data, the better you understand the data. So because what one thing that you, the researcher, you are doing is trying to interpret what is coming and make sense out of it vis-a-vis -vis the research objectives that you have. So if you do you interact with the data, you read through, you sort through, you go through, you end up understanding the data better. And then you can be able to identify what is relevant in the data and what is not relevant in the data. Okay. Yes, just, just a book after the teaching. Is there any question? Well, please, I'm sorry. Hold hands, please, I'm sorry. Mm. So you begin by collecting, um, your ma managing the data you have received, trying to sort out the different data and trying to appropriate the right labels to it. So let's say that uh, you have collected data, you are supposed to be able to um, index it. Which of them is for the the um the KNST where you collected data, which of them is for Accra Polytechnic, which of them was answered by female, which of them was answered by male, or who answered them. This is about from the MD, this one is from the director, this is from the operations manager. All those kind of things is part of data management. When you start having the data and start combining and categorizing them to make actually to be able to identify what is in there and then analyze it. So what you are trying to do is to put the data in, in appropriate formats by categorization or combining them so that you can be able to use them to understand what you're trying, the phenomenon you're trying to explore. Now, part of it, if you record that, you're going to choose your, make a choice of whether you're going to, um, the recording that you had, you're going to transcribe it or not, but it's not everything everybody records. So depending on what you have recorded, it, you may have recorded either by your thing, your hand by writing or may have recorded by, uh, by uh, virtual or digital means so that you can have a digital copy and then use that one for your work. Okay, now if you have a recording, you are going to transcribe it. And after you transcribe, you are going to have a bunch of different texts trying to um, give us an indication of the responses people give per the question that you shared with them. But because you have that, you have to start thinking about how do you make sense out of the data? How do you make sense out of the data? How do you identify patterns in the data that can be able to use to do your work? and then make your arguments. 
that pattern uh, uh, recognition process or making sense of the data has got different different skills and techniques that are needed. Now, what you do is that in coding, you are trying to apply labels to the data so that you can then move to the next step where you can make the sense. So the first thing that we are going to try to understand is that you have a lot of data that are received. How do you put in a appropriate format so that you can tell a story that you can be able to use it to be able to do analysis? Okay. So coding then comes in. Coding is not anything strange. It's just reducing the data into meaningful segments by assigning labels to them or to those particular segments in order to be able to use it to be able to explore the, the issues that you are trying to research on. Now, as you code, you are going to categorize the codes, you break the data down, and then you put the data together again to be able to form broader codes that have a, a higher implication of what is being ha what's happening. Now, if um, I'm a, let's say I'm a, I'm a baba or a hairdresser, and I want to know whether I have revenue uh, I am, I'm performing well. I can wait, I can either go to the company and start studying every single time any person comes to the company uh, to come and cut their hair or the shop. I will write down how much the person has earned. By the time I realize, I'll be able to draw a picture of how much um, how much uh, has been earned. Then I can be able to compare with other things to see whether we are doing well or not doing well. But let me say something. Somebody will go to the to the to, the, to that same shop, and then by virtue of looking at certain things there, he may not even need to enter. He may be able to tell whether the person is doing well or not. Why he use for other indicators? One of the indicators that you have used in the first method is that you are looking at the the the, the transactions, and that person will see that when you put the transactions together, I go when they realize that this person is using this type of um this type of ambience as an air condition there. There's carpet there. There's, it tells you some luxury, kind of a luxurious environment, which is not typical. Of, that, this is not crystal, so a typical uh, hairdressing salon. So you start realizing that it's either the person has a very good sponsor or he's doing so well to be able to have invested this much into his company. Good. So what are we trying to do? Then the first person was looking at the actual details that will come together to create a whole. The other person is looking at the whole to be able to try to tell what is even behind the actual details. Now, what am I trying to say? When you are coding, what you see depends on your, your interpretation framework. Your interpretation framework is developed based on a number of things which are going to look at today. So I'm going to explain to you how to code. What is a code? How to code, the different types of code, how to code within the interpretation framework that you have. The interpretation framework actually is either what will guide you to either code better or not code better. Now, coding itself is a very, very, very fundamental technique that is used by a number of different qualitative analysis approach. There are several of them. I mentioned a few here, you may not realize. This thematic, thematic analysis, which is a qualitative approach. Sorry. Pattern matching, which is also uh, uh, a, a qualitative approach. And then mouse and human man's techniques. Mouse and human puts all different techniques across the world together to do a bunch of techniques. So in that one, you see even pattern matching, a systematic one there. Uh, mouse and human man is there. There are quite a number of other ones that are there. And usually when you write, read some of these papers with qualitative, you may tell you which, which qualitative analysis technique is using. So how, let's start. Coding, what is coding? A code, uh, codes are tags or labels that you assign to your data. The objective here is to try to make sense, uh, try to um, point out that the, the table that you are reading, the thing that you are reading is trying to connote a particular meaning. Now, why do you do that? You use, do, do that coding because you want to index the data that you have so that you can be able to use it for storage, storing a lot of information in it. Then you can also retrieve it for use for, for other future analysis by comparing it with others. Sometimes people also do coding because they want to identify what are the S, what is the essence in the data and what kind of pattern am I realizing in from the data. Good. So that's one thing that you may you may not realize. But some people, students, some students will say that code and code a code can be seen as a theme, but the theme just tries to tell you about describe a phenomenon. A code itself is you applying and when you take 
a, a word and you attach it to a data and say this particular sentence, this is the essence of it. You have actually coded it. And by coding, you have also themed it because all different codes have different names. So some of the, the codes itself will help you to generate their themes. The code itself help you to generate their themes. Let me just quickly just show you an example of what where we are going to so that you can appreciate why, why I'm trying to teach this. Okay. I have a paper that is called, um, I think I can find it online right now. Let me go straight online. It's called, if you go to the internet and type um, videos in higher education, videos in learning, learning in higher education and watching, you find a paper that I wrote on the research methods class where I was trying to understand um, how students feel uh, what students, how do the, how the, the, how do the, how does the use of videos influence students' perception of learning and engagement? In what way does video influence the student's attitude and how can we improve it? Now, I'm going to show you something. So when we look at the data, look at this particular, I'm just picking up the paper from the online platform. So I'm using the, I'm using the, the one here. Okay, Obed has put the paper out there. Yeah. Obed, if you can drop it in the coding yeah. folder within the, um, this courses yeah. folder. Yeah, no, I know what I mean. Who denies this, yeah. Uh, Joseph, Joseph, Oboku, you are disturbing us. Okay. Now, guys, um, gentlemen and ladies, can you see this particular thing? So this is general perception of the video. This, is, this was the question that we're asking. What is the general perception of the students concerning the videos? Okay, so we said most of the students had regarded the, the use of the video in general as useful or helpful. What you are seeing here are themes or quotes. So if you look at it, you said, how did I arrive at that? So you show that some of the students who indicated this had previously used videos to assist in their learning before in the introduction of videos in the research methods class, for example. So these two quotes are coming from these particular people. Now look at something. In here too, there are quotes. A female student is a label too. Because I could have written Ajwa. Ajwa will not tell you anything, but a female student tells you a lot. If you are uh, living in the US and you see Ajwa, you may not even know Ajwa is a female. You may even think it's a male. Ajwa student, and even saying student, it's also another label. And then 20 years is the year. So I'm trying to say that the female students who are 20 years are saying this. Another female student who is 22 years is saying that. So the person that I think is actually useful. Now it's just coincident that the meaning here has been used as part of the word, but you could have actually have the meaning without, and you still say useful without having the word inside. The students, are just, the videos are actually helpful. So you put them. One of the perceptions students have, one of the students perceive videos as adding a new perspective on content. So he indicated that then you look at what the person said. So he didn't even say anything. He said. With the video, it is like you are relearning everything. You are able to take the notice of something new that you have missed in class. So it's a new perspective of content. Do you realize that this label we are given here tries to explain this, but it doesn't necessarily have to be any word here. That's one thing I wanted to show. Number two, labels are used because they are exhaustive, they are valid, and they are mutually exclusive. Valid means that they are trying to explain something that they are supposed to explain. Number two, they are exhaustive because they make sure that they, at the end of the day, whatever they are supposed to explain, they capture every, everything in that particular level. And then they are also mutually exclusive. They are they can stand on their own. They are not trying to compare with another hour. So when you look at the code itself, it can be on its own and have its own meaning. Now look at another one here, sir. Some of the students indicated the videos were innovative and exciting. So look at this. I'm drawn to shark things. I'm drawn to shark. Sorry. Somebody's calling me. I'm going to share things like movies and other clips. So video may learning it makes learning fun and exciting. So you see that he's saying that exciting here, and then this one innovative and exciting. So he captured them like that. So what we are going to try and do is to understand how we come up with these labels. Because you do analysis based on the labels. You do analysis based on the labels. Okay. So what is the, uh, uh, the type of different labels you may find, you may see? You have, you have, a distributed code and an identical code. Please hold.
Okay, so you have got descriptive codes and then analytical codes. Now, descriptive codes try to describe the entity that is saying something. And then topic codes try to tell you what the person is saying. So the example that you saw earlier, let's go back again. This example we are looking here, the descriptive code is the statement, what the person is saying, helpful and useful. The topic code is helpful and useful. The descriptive code is the entity, female uh, uh, student, 20 years. In fact, somebody could have written, maybe we could have read generation X or generation Y. That's another label that you could have used. It means that you are putting them in a generation, generation, generation gap. So you have got female being a, uh, 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 a generational, what's the name? Uh, 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 a descriptive code describing the person we're saying it. The same thing here, male. Here, so the same thing is being mentioned here. And the other one too is uh, um, the, it's also part of what you call the descriptive code. So you have seen the descriptive code. But the essence of what the person is saying, like new perspective on content, is the topic code. However, let's continue. Good. Oh, sorry. And um, please, I, I was trying to show you something. I don't know whether you saw what I was trying to show. I was saying that the descriptive code here is the female. And then the, this one is a descriptive code. The biotopic code is what was being said, helpful and useful. Is that okay? Somebody's lying is bad. Yes, bro. Please. Yes, bro. Okay, good. Let, let's continue. Okay. Okay, let's go. Good. So the analytical codes and inferential codes are when we combine a number of distributed codes together, we can then generate other type of codes. So they go up, they kind of become, uh, they're in a hierarchy. So the next level will be the analytical codes. And then you can then go to your your, your final one, which may be the theoretical code or, or which I'm not showing here, but I'm not saying that there are codes have got different levels of an, an explaining things to us. And as we go and we will understand it better. Now, when we pull different codes to different sub codes together, like descriptive codes together, we end up coming to analytical or inferential codes, which are getting us closer to what we are trying to understand or the answer we are looking for. So, distributed code is telling us who said it, the entity and its attributes, as we saw that. Topic code is that why, what did the person see? What are the key issues? So that you may, person may talk plenty, so you may, you may speak quite a lot. So there may be the primary key issue and then the secondary issues is trying to emphasize. Analytical coding, what is going on here? What meanings can we draw? At one level, what is going on here? The next level then becomes the next level over, over the analytical coding will then will become, or as part of the analytical code will become um, what, uh, what are the meanings that like, we can draw here in relation to the theory or the research questions that we are we are doing we have? I will be answering. Okay. okay, so let's look at it now. You say that examine the nature, the nature of PhD program in Liking University. We are using as an example the PhD topics and the type of students prefer. So, what kind of PhD topics are preferred in this university? What type of students are preferred in this university? So, we interviewed two students. The first student says that students, supervisors are usually well bank experts, very knowledgeable, and often away from global assignments. Please mute, mute that, that guy. Please, if you can make me the co host, I, I, can I, I made you earlier. I think, uh, okay, it was on Nanakujo rather. Hey, sorry, so Nanakujo, you didn't tell me that I made you co host. Sorry, sorry, I, I didn't notice. Big man. 
<laughs> this, they, they, there's somebody disturbing us. I don't know who that person is. Is frame or something like that? Okay. So it says students are usually World Bank experts, very knowledgeable, but often away from global, away from global assignments. Number two, and our student said that I spent more time on Skype for discussions with my supervisor. Now, when we look at these two things, somebody can just get up and say, the first word I see knowledgeable supervisor, I write it down. And then I want to limited face-to-face -face interaction because it says Skype for discussions with my supervisor. But these things do not tell you which of them they are answering. So you have to ask, there are two questions here. What type of PhD topics are welcome in this university? And what are, or what are the type of students which are preferred? So you have to know which of them are you answering. So if you are looking for the PhD topics, you have to code for that one. The answer for the, if you're looking for the type of student, you have to also code for that one. Whatever code you're going to choose, you have to make sure the codes are valid. The code should reflect what is being said and what uh, reflect what is being researched to. So you can't just say that you go and bring codes that have, it's not relevant to what is being, uh, 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 is being discussed and uh, what is being researched on. So your, res your research focus should guide you in, in, in choosing your code or your label. Okay. Now, mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means that the code that you have selected should be distinct, it shouldn't overlap, it should be different from the other codes that you create. But it means that they can come together to form another code. The last one is that all the codes that you choose should be exhaustive. So the data that is trying to describe should be able to be encapsulated within it. Now, please, I have not reached anywhere blessed. Let me take a little bit of your understanding may come as we look at examples. Okay, good. So let's look at the, the example. So this one's are we seen as um, somebody said this are knowledgeable supervisor is a description. So the description of the type of supervisor. So there's a description. And then so now let's come here. Knowledgeable supervisor is a description of the type of supervisor. But if you look at the statement, the first part, it says that the supervisors are usually World Bank experts and then are very knowledgeable. So I my thinking for answering the first part, the topics. I wrote, this is my thing, my experience is different from your experience. I write, I wrote a global orientation. So I can say that one, the guy is saying that the, the supervisors have got global orientation. He's also saying that they are what, knowledgeable to, in terms of their description of them. And what he said about global orientation, you don't worry. So that's one thing I realized. Then if you look at the second statement, he says that I spent more time on Skype it means that if you're coming to do a program in this university, you have to be computer literate. Is that not true? If I want to describe what, what type of students are they looking for? A computer literate student. So I wrote it. A computer literate student is what they are looking for. But what kind of, what's the nature of the teaching, the way the interaction? There's going to be limited face-to-face -face interaction. So I wrote it, limited face-to-face -face interaction. Because he's saying something like that. In terms of, it's, as I've described the, Type of student. I've said now what about what he, he was saying, topic, limited face-to-face -face interaction. Now, if I go further and ask, look at my research question, I can say that the PhD topic that you are looking for should be about what? Grand challenges. Grand challenges are the kind of things that the, the realize that the UN, the UN and the big World Bank people, they're not interested in whether your light was able to come on in your bedroom. They are more concerned about whether light is in the community or light is in the country or how much are paying for light. In fact, that's what the World Bank is more concerned about, how much are paying for light. So realize that they think about the grand issues, the grand challenges. That's why they give them Ghana money for COVID. So it's like the grand challenges facing the world. That is beyond one country to solve. And sometimes they need intervention. So the grand challenges. So it means that if you're coming to do a PhD in this area, the type of topics you choose should, should look at the grand challenges. Now, because I, I, am, uh, I am a PhD student before, I understand what it means to select a PhD topic. That's why I'm able to do this one very well. That's why I say it comes from experience. Experience. Number two, think global. It means that I think that the whatever topic, uh, because they are global orientation, the supervisors will be attracted to things which are thinking, you think global. What, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to emphasize the fact that let's just take it that you are in HR and you come to, and somebody come to your PhD and you start talking about um, customer service. Say, are you are you sure you are, you are in the right place? You say that I'm in mean, HR supervisor. Is that you are talking about thing, consumer be consumer uh, uh, organizational uh, 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 development, or you are talking about recruitment of uh, of employees? Or you are talking about um, uh, uh, organizational psychology? These kind of things are what I'm interested in. So, what the supervisor will be interested in depends on what the supervisor does. 
the supervisor has a global orientation already so you yourself you have to realize that your phd topic should start telling you thing global what about the student attributes it's an environment that is techno culture it's a techno culture environment so the student should be aware of that number two it's an individualistic environment individualistic means that you end up doing much on your own and kind of sequestered to be on your own okay so now if i look at it and i combine the phd program has to be this way and i combine the techno culture issues have, have to be that way i can then come up with somewhat we call my theoretical conclusions and say that oh uh, my con con uh, conclusions i can say that a techno culture the pure kind of phd program are they running a techno culture program where students are challenged to address global issues what type of students are they looking for students need to be individualistic and proactive now if you look at where I've arrived at, it came from the fact that I have built logical chain of evidence to arrive at that. Okay, so it's, it's good now. Um, let's continue. How then did I arrive at the coding? There are two ways I can arrive at the coding. I can look at my research framework if I have one and use that one to guide me and gu use that one to guide me to choose what should go into it, for example, if my research framework has got things like um, I have a research framework on, let's just uh, let's look at. In fact, let me not talk too much. Let's jump into um, go online and see whether we can find any research framework that explains um, how students choose courses or choose um, topics. In fact, if, if, if I, I, I taught you about this thing, how to select a topic, remember my slides. Do you remember? Yes, please. Yes, bro. What were, there were about six of them. What was one of them? The uh, supervisor, your son. You trained, social trained. The supervisor, good. Yeah. Yourself, to your trained. So uh, let me use that one as the, let, let's, let me then go back. Let me use that one as the framework. So the supervisor. So look at what we have here. The supervisor is what we, is guiding us to choose this one. So the, what, who is the supervisor and what is the characteristic of the supervisor? Remember I told you that the, even though you have your own interest, the supervisor is prime. He's going to be the one going to guide you and he's going to mark your work. Is that not it? Yes. For the MPhil students, he's not the one marking your work, but he's the one who's going to say the work is finished and signed. So he takes responsibility for the work and then submits and it helps you to submit, then he will choose a standard examiner for you and an internal examiner for you. So your supervisor is very, very important. So that means that what your supervisor is interested in is what you are going to end up choosing. Do you understand it? Yes, bro. So you see that that, that that framework you have in your mind, that the fact that the supervisor is a factor is telling you that supervisor matters. So because of that, you have supervisor issues here. So when you are coding, sometimes you have to ask yourself, what research framework do you have? And what are the variables in your research framework? Or what is the literature around the topic, say? So you can find brief specified codes from the literature or the research framework. And then you can go into the data. Then the next approach is to also look at the data, let the data speak to you. So from the supervisor approach, we found we were able to establish that you end up thinking of grant challenges. But when we come to the, uh, um, the second one, we say, what type of PhD are they interested in? There's no framework for a type of PhD student uh, university is interested in. So you have to understand the attributes of the, the program and the way they do supervision is done and teaching is done. They can just use that one to guide you in selecting the student. So this one is just actually coming from the data. So data-driven approach, where the first set of course are derived from the data. And then as you realize on the coding scheme after, so as you go on, combine the data together, you can then generate other codes. This one, the first one, you, 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 your, 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 your codes are, some of your codes are coming from the literature. So you use the literature of the research framework to guide you to look for whether you have really finding evidence on the person to say this. Now, increasingly, I have to just let you understand that if you should choose the framework approach, it's not all the variables that you are trying to study that will be captured by your framework. There may be other new variables that may not be in your framework. So they have to be alert for other ones which are suggested by the data. So in, the, in, 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 in effect, the two approaches are not an either or 
decision. You use both at the same time you do your work. Okay, bless. Now, can I answer your question? Please, uh, when you were coding uh, using the the analysis from the the, in, the the selection of, I think research in the university, I had a question to ask on one of the codes. So please, if you could show me that slide so that I'll ask the question. Okay. Read this one. Yes, please. Well, I asked for this one, I was just trying my, I was just now starting. So I was just thinking about what is coming to my mind now. Usually when you read the data, let the first thing that comes in mind, write them down. Then after later, then come and visit it again and then start looking, what else can I see? Okay, sir. So I was thinking, I was, I wanted to ask if you could use a, a code like uh, a supervisor's expertise as a but because he's talking about uh, yes. but uh, uh, but listen carefully carefully listen carefully the question is that what is the type of PhD topic they are looking for so advice's expertise is it the type of PhD topic no sir valid question accurately what is being researched so it is important the supervisor's expertise is about who the supervisor is so what is what 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 expertise are you looking for? A global orientation. So, so the global orientation is what you should write instead of supervisor expertise. This is a very good question. Because you are writing supervisor expertise because of the your level of understanding. But the research question says that what is the type of topics you are looking for? So what is it? then it means that you you um, bless you ask yourself what is inside the supervisor's expertise? The supervisor we are talking about is a supervisor who is globally oriented. So the topics you are choosing should have a global orientation. Okay. Thank you. Thank very, you. Very, very good question. Very good question. Yes, carrying on to your... Yes, sir. Okay. So the first thing is that the descriptive codes helps us to do what we call open coding. You are just looking at data and just putting everything that you can put there. But some of the distributed codes can also give you what we call first order codes. And topic, some of the topic codes too can give you first order codes, not only the distributed code. That means that you are seeing so that at the first level, what are you seeing? What are you hearing? And then the next one is that when you combine them, what can you, what can you be able to tell about what they are seeing? So you can then get to axial codes. And then when you go to the next level, they can get what we call a, com a combination of different codes by asking yourself what is going on in here. We call that one the theoretic, aggregate theoretical constructs, where you can see that at that level, you are relating to the theory or you are trying to inform uh, 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 the, the theoretical discussion or relating to the literature. So you are trying to inform literature. So you have first order codes, axial codes. Axial codes are when you combine different types of codes. Either you are combining this descriptive codes with topic codes, or you are combining topic codes with uh, two topic codes or two descriptive codes. You end up getting uh, an axial code. Now, this one is more about the state of the code. So at the open coding process, you are actually looking at data and putting everything that is in your head, you are seeing. So some of the things that you may put down may even be first order or second order, but it just that it's coming to you, so you write it down. It is after you are finished, then you go back and then go and look at it. Let me do my actual critical reading to you to select the codes that are very important to my work. Okay, so at the open coding, we are looking at the interview text. Then from there, we go to the axial coding where we start looking at the different codes you have developed, whether I have a topic or descriptive and combining them to generate axial codes. And based on the axial codes, we can then go to a finality where we identify what can be said. What is, what can, what, what is the essence in here in terms of selecting the code that you want to communicate? Now let's take another example. A man interviewed is discussing the need for committee action in local council elections, in which a school teacher is a, is a candidate. The, the man, this man says that he never listens to gossip about the school teacher. 
is woman staff. But he does worry that she's standing for local council when she's obviously when she's obviously not a responsible person. So let's, this is what the man is thinking when man is saying, so that will summarize for us. In terms of the serial coding, you can say this man may be male, 45 years old, and a trade smart. We don't have that information, but that could be what could be captured there based on the book itself. Okay, so the first one is the description code. The second one is the topic code. The topic code then becomes about what's the person saying. So I think the first thing we can look at it is that we hear the man talking about he never gossip about the school teacher, it's women's stuff. He does worry about the woman standing for local council. So let's see what he's saying. The need for community action and the school teacher. Perhaps we need to code her multiple roles. The school teacher has multiple roles, so we can code all those things. Now, when you finish the code, the question then asks that what type of person offered these ideas? And then what were they about? So that's what the first one that we have been able to answer. But when we continue, we say, analytical going, what is going on here? Several things are, are inside, which is worth noting. First of all, first of, first of, we can see some patriarchal assumptions, the way the man sees women. The credibility of gossip, the man is the one saying that he never gossips. And gossip is women's stuff. So women are the one who gossip. Is that what he's trying to say? The informal networks of women, the women are the one who gossip. The authority of school teachers because of the way the man was challenging the, the other people. So, did men ever deny that they, they gossip? That is the question we can ask in terms of analytical code. Are there negative attitudes to the teacher, school teacher coming from, are the negative attitudes for the school teacher coming from over 40s? Because you see that I has combined the, the other, some codes together. This is coming from a distributed code. This is also coming from a topic code. He has combined them together. How do you, they relate to the attitudes to the community action? So these are the things that he's going to come, come up with and then use that one to analyze. Now, what are you seeing here? Mouse and Huberman himself. We are, what we are talking about are uh, coding techniques by Mouse and Huberman. So please let me give you that. But it's, it's comparable to other people. Mouse and Huberman are the ones who talk about distributed codes and then pattern codes. Then Riches talks about two five. That's not me. Riches is an author. Those are topic codes and analytic codes. Then Garnet Theory codes. Uh, Garnet Theory is an approach in qualitative research in which we use it to be able to develop theories by just focusing on the data. So Garnet theory says that it is a four-step process. It's sort of the two-step process that you can see with the other ones. You look at the codes of what is in the data and we will codes. Open the code, open codes and raises the conceptual level of the data. Then as you could look at the inter, inter connection between the open codes and the intellectual level, raise the conceptual level. The selective codes raises the conceptual level of the data again. So I will show you from a, a number of examples how this is done. <clears throat> so let's do a practical session. This is finding cars supplies online. I remember I gave you this one some time ago. E-commerce capabilities in, in, in the used Ghanaian uh, car retailer. Let's look at page four and five. Open, everybody should open page four and five. We're going to see whether we can make sense of it. Okay, because we are page four and five gives us our it gives us our data. So this is page four. Finding car supplies online. Can you see it? So now this is it. Now to be, this is it. To be able to do the coding, we need to be able to capture, bring our coding sheet. A coding sheet is just a sheet of paper that helps us to understand and uh, capture what, what we have and then do, use it to do the simplification of the data. So finding car suppliers online, you've seen that I've put it here. Let me just zoom in on that one.
Okay. So, oh, sorry. Oh. We, have, we have it here. Okay, this is it. Oh, Obed, I shared it now. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, let's look at it very carefully. We have this one here. Let this one go. Let this one go. Good. Okay. Now, the question is that using Quada, Quada wrote a paper on collaboration between developed and developing countries, how, how um, they collaborate. Answer the following the following through the coding techniques of Miles and Huberman. What factors influence the selection of a car supplier, an online car supplier, in reference to the case? So, this is the case that the person has written the case already. So, let's look at it. Okay, to raise the capital for the business opportunity. John traveled to UK in the last quarter of 2003 in the temporary job. Now, I'm not saying you are going to, you can find so many things here. So let's take it away. So to raise capital for the business opportunity, the business opportunity is about um, finding, um, selling cars. To raise capital, okay. Now, does this statement, to raise capital for the business opportunity, is it directly valid to say about how to select a car supplier online? Yes or no? Sorry? No. Good. Very, very good. So it's not valid. Remember, it has to be valid. It has to be exhaustive. It has to be what? Um, mutually exclusive. So let's go on. John used the opportunity to find a, a car, a, 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 a trading partner. So now listen. From whom he could purchase used cars and import to Ghana. He used the opportunity. What opportunity? The use of the online. No. He traveling to UK. Traveling to Thank UK. you very much. Yeah. Good. So John traveled to UK. So which of them should we put there? I think we can put two sentences. We have seen John tra travel to UK and then this part. This whole thing is very good. So this is here. Okay. Good. Who is the one telling us this one? This is a, a, a summary from an interview done with John. So we think that John is the one who told us the story. Is that not true? Yes. This, this, the paper has been written already. That's why I'm just saying that. So they're trying to say this is a respondent. The respondent here, who, who would have told us this will be who? Likely to be who? John. 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 Good. At the time I was doing the study, John was around, um, how, old, how old was I at that time? 2003. How many years is 2003 for this year, from this year? 19 years. 19. 19 years. So let's say that John was around, let's say 35 or 30. Let's say 30. Let me use 30. 30 years. What else can we use to describe John? John, John, John is, um, no, I'm not 49, please. It's not, I'm, I'm just trying to remember because um, he was my junior in school. He's not 49 years now. Hey, then, I, then the age I've given me, because the guy is now in 40. I think he's not even 40. He's in 37 or something like that. So he was 20 something at that time. So let's say 25. Yeah, yeah, I just finished first degree. What time do you finish first degree? 25. Eh? Okay. Perfect subjective. Uh, it's there are some there are some younger and there's some gorillas too. <laughs> okay, so let's let's give the average 25 years. Okay, so let's put that. But there's something this is the kind the founder, so he's the founder of the company, or he's a manager, MD. Yeah, I've I mean, not read the full case, that's why. But those who have read the case before, you know the um the, the John is the guy we interviewed is John. So John is the founder or the MD of the company. Managing director, the owner, uh -huh, is the owner. So since he's a founder, owner, manager, hey, all, all the three has <laughs> owner, manager. <laughs> a one-man business. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Good. 
So we are putting there. We don't know the code yet, so let's leave it like that. Let's continue. Through the market study in Ghana, John identified that the highly patronized cars in Ghana included this and that and that and that. Okay. He therefore carried out a study of the European used car retail market to identify the firm country where uh, patronized cars could be important. Is this sentence irrelevant for choosing a place? Very relevant. Very relevant. Eh? So let's copy this one too. Let's copy the sentence. Now, in exam hall, you may have, you may not be need to write all of this. We will we'll put the question. We will put them in all as numbers. So every 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 sentence will be a number. Do you understand me? So there will be numbers so that you can be able to write the number, the relevant number or something here. Okay. So this is still John. So let's we can still. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going importing vehicles where more than 10 years will try penalties. And this, this is this relevant? Not necessarily. It helps you to understand what is happening in Ghana, but it doesn't help you to choose a, a car company. Or, or this one is relevant. It helps you to know your, your destination, where the car is coming to. <laughs> oh, please, are you helping me? Perfect. It helps you to choose what type of car Ghanaians will accept. Thank you very much. Acceptable in Ghana. Thank you. So let's put it down. Okay. Through the internet, um, John researched three left hand car driver, car countries, Germany, ne ne Netherlands, and Germany. He contacted the car retailers in, in this car, expressing interest in buying and exporting cars. And then the, 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 so. Okay, so let's continue. So through the internet, the auto trade magazines, um, okay, he researched. So this one is needed. Yes, yes, bro. Okay. Okay, good. You are saying it's needed with me. I'm not saying anything. I'm just listening to you guys. Because it shows where he contacted the, the okay. medium. Okay, he contacted the car retailers in this country expressing interest in buying their car used cars. Should we capture that one? This is a process, eh? No, Prof. You don't need this one. He contacted the car retailers in this country, expressing interest in buying and exporting the cars to Ghana and requesting their pictures of their used car. Is it important? No, yes, I think it's important because it's a direct decision making on the, the, the vehicles he would settle on. He contacted the car retailers. The people you is going to choose, he contacted different one of them online, expressing his interest. You say it's not relevant. It's, it's relevant. It's relevant. It's relevant. It's relevant. It's relevant. This is his first contact with them. He says it's not relevant. Yeah. OK, it's then. Relevant. It's relevant. OK, it's so selection here. good pre-selection, whatever, uh, interaction, well, good. Now, you see, that's a code, though. That's a code that you have come up with. That is very good. Interesting. Then, oh, but are you, are you getting it? Yes, bro. I am. Okay. This class is like they always get the best too. <laughs> <laughs> Use cars from Germany and where a high level of service and it seem to be better condition as compared to the is this relevant? As compared to yes, the, Germany, Germany had more roadworthiness. How to select a car supplier online? Is this these two is it relevant? Yes, bro. Yes. Okay, I'll put it together. Since they are, they are all describing the same thing, let's put it together. Okay. Okay. Yes, bro. Good. We'll do it to, up, up to the only that, to the end of the paragraph. Then we'll go back and then we'll, we'll go back. Three months after our, our, our online communication, is it important? After three months of online communication. Yes, bro. It shows the yes. time. Uh, the duration in which they seal the deal. Okay, he established. So should we separate them or we should put them together? After three line one, he established a business relationship. Okay, who was relatively uh, adept in oral and written English. This one, there's a lot of things here. Do you realize it? Things separated. Yes. Yes. Okay, you let's put it down. We can we can multiple code. We call it multiple code. 
So each one can be on its own. Like what the gentleman say? So this one will be a sentence. Okay. This one will be one. And then this one, he said, establish a business relationship. Uh, then the, the other one will be a characteristic of bronze. So we can then separate them after putting them in. You see, if you remove it, the sentence will not make, the sentence on their own will not make me. It's the beginning that makes it a contest. Who was, if I just write who was, this it will not make sentence, it makes sense. Remember what we talked about, those strip the data from the context. Remember that? Yes, please. If I remove this one, I just put it there and I come and give it to you, how will you understand it? Who was relatively uh, uh, adept in aura? It doesn't explain anything to you. But yes. if it's together in the same, I can code here, I can code for this, I can code for that. Does it make sense? Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Born had previously worked as a, a technical director for Mercedes Benz. Is it important? No. Hey, boss, you said this is not important. <laughs> he owned garages in Nombek and uh, Hamburg. Are you not assessing me? That makes him a supplier. Uh -huh. I, I like what the guy was trying. The guy who said that makes sense. it actually establishes the guy knows something about Africa. The guy says it's not important. I think everything, the problem is that you're looking for online, online, online. That will make you make mistakes. So this is a, what factors enable you to uh, uh, influence your choice, influence your choice of an online supplier. Two business meetings in the UK and Germany were arranged. Is it important? Two business meetings yes. were in the UK. Is it important? Important. Yes, yeah. prof. It yes, is. Prof. Yes. No problem. Yes, I'm here. I didn't hear your answers. That's why. You say it's important, eh? Yeah. Okay, now let's continue reading. So during the let's continue. So during the second meeting, John uh got the opportunity to familiarize himself with the used car export process in Germany. Is it important? It was agreed that okay. interested consumers will have to make full payment for the car and pay for shipping charge before the car is exported. After the car had been placed on the so I think this sentence should be on its own. This one, I am myself. The first I think sentence, it should, yes. Yeah, it should be on its own. Well, it, it is talking about um, something else. And then the other one is talking about an agreement. You see, all these are about terms. Is that not, is that not terms? Yes, please. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Good. Hey, we are going home, but <laughs> I have a lot to code. <laughs> Good. Afterward, John, uh, you know, Bron emphasized, also emphasized honesty and transparency. So I think this is what um, um, John wa um, John wanted, and this is what Bron wanted. It looks like that's what is happening here. Because John uh, or Bron also emphasized, he's trying to add onto what was said, was agreed. Okay. Then after 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 John made his first pitches before returning to Ghana to start the to start the film is important. Yes, me. Mm, no, this one. Yeah. It's important. It's not important. No, I don't. Prof, I think it explains the honesty and then the transparency. No. Oh no. This is his first. No, How can you doesn't. start the business? How can you start the business without actually having a one car to come to Ghana? Guys, it's not important to finding the supplier, but after getting the supplier, you have to buy buy one to, uh, to test the process. Meaning it's just like a sample. Good. Oh, okay. The start yeah, of yeah, sure. the start of it. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Then look at this one. Both market study and supplier evaluation. So this is this is a trick. Two, the two, two things have happened here. Can you see the what he's trying to tell you? This is a code. This is like a, an, a resulting code. 
both market study it seems a lot of things that have been happening here was market study and another one was what supplier evaluation evaluation so it's telling you these are they're going to be the outcome codes like possibly the the what's the name the either second order or the final one easier yeah. yeah good because it's like a summary do you realize it yes sir it's very clear Yes. It's so the hope was let's put it there okay now the last one is just leading us to our answers the principle and the principle is systematic processes so it means that there were some things which are principles and some things which are a systematic processes a systematic process okay employed in selecting and establishing the business collaboration between brown and tend to reflect propositions made by exam literature remember we said that if you are going to look at the uh, code you can also look at literature do, do you remember yes prof, yes, prof. By looking at, so we are going to come to view the coding so i leave the sentence out but let's look at quarter 2000 and 2002 quarter 2002 so what is quarter collaboration between developed and developing country based firms danish Ghanaian experience a very good people so this is not this is scandinavia germany too is around that area so at least it gives us some idea so let's look at what the, the literature says. So let's check the literature. Then we put the factors down. Then we use the factors to guide us when we are doing our coding. Is that okay? Remember that okay, okay. we argue that if you are coding, you should look above the literature and then look at what the data is telling you. So this is the paper. So let's look at some of the, um, whether you came up with some factors. So what does the factor say? Okay. Okay, so I think this is it. Alliance performance perception model. Let me see whether there's anything else. Table two, let me check table two. Mm -hmm. Aha, I see. I've seen it. Is it? Uh, let me turn there. Good. Can you look at it? So, look at the three, the three variables here. Motives, clearly defined motives. Motives exclusively economic. Motives are of strategic importance. So these are three variables under motives. So you see a motive itself is a is a um, is one of the either a, a second order or a, or a third order. Do you understand pattern selection? This is what we are looking for. Is that not it, gentlemen? We are looking for pattern search and selection. Good systematic pattern search. Focus on resource complementarity. Adequate time to know each other. So alliance negotiations. This one is becoming easier for you because the variables are here already. Honest assessment of resources, expectations based on country image, contract based collaboration, cultural preparedness, intercultural competence, trust, effective cultural communication, communication. management and performance relationship, preference of, for joint management, joint learning, instrument, instrumental and impressive performance. So this is what um, the framework that uh, uh, 
Um, Obed, please let, 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 let uh, you and your the, um, Alfred, who is celebrating his birthday today. Alfred, happy birthday. Um, please try and guide this one time for me. So I, I can, can use it for examples. So let's go to uh, gentlemen and ladies. Let's go, let's let's use this model. Cool. Oh. What is that? Hey, bro. When you are what is the guy say? Can you just say? please. Some people are talking. Or somebody is saying pro something. Something. <laughs> Those who understand, anyway, what did the guy say? Google Translator would do. <laughs> <laughs> or you are afraid that if you, if you interpret, I will not be happy. <laughs> Okay, now let's let's do the coding now. Please, can you see well? Okay. So please, tell help me. Let's look for the. We can put. We will put all the different codes here. Then we after that we will sort out. Okay. John traveled to UK in the last quarter of the year to take up a temporary job. John used the opportunity to find a trading partner in Europe from whom he could purchase. Is there anything from the cherry that can help us, or anything that's not out of the cherry but it's relevant here? So what can you see? John traveled to UK. Systematic partner search. It does not, this statement here does not say anything like that. He said he could use the opportunity to find a trading partner. You could use the opportunity. I think, find well, I think motive. Adequate time. No, no, take your time. Okay. Don't be looking at, sometimes this is the problem about a, a framework. A framework can narrow you. Uh, Look at the thing he's saying. It is what the guy said that is systematic yeah, partner. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, leading to it, but it is not it. I think motive. Or, or it is is it is the searching mm. part of the part of the systematic partner. <laughs> <laughs> so what about motively exclusively economic? Because it's the motive to travel is about the business. Thank you, thank you, boss. Boss, that one can be good, but it's not necessarily about the online selection, it's about the business. So, motive to what exclusively, exclusively economic. economic. Okay, so let's call it economic motives. Is that not it? Good, yes, please. yeah. Then the second sentence, what can we see? We are doing multiple coding here. Opportunity to find this in uh, Opportunity to search. Yeah, no, you have I to find the opportunity. Focused on resource complementarity. No, there's nothing about resource here. He is now going to, he is looking for opportunity to be able to go to Europe so I can look for a partner there. Uh, um, Prof, is it um, effective cross culture communication? No, it doesn't reach communication. The guy is now, you forget, I don't think that one is even here. It's more yeah, about. Sorry. Motives of strategy. Oh, I think. Aha! Aha! Oh, Charlie, who, uh, who said that? Who said it? Prof, I said it. Prof, I said it. Oh, but please not, not notify the guy. Most of it. Okay, Prof. Okay, okay, Prof. I said it. In fact, what he said is very, very true. Motives of strategic importance. Important. Yeah. So, strategic motive. Good. I, I, both of them are right too, but I'm just for lack of space. I'm writing it the way I think. You guys may write the full thing. Please, this is an exam question, but I'm, you are the only class I'm testing. I'm, we are doing together. The rest, I told them they should go and practice on their own. So <laughs> it's good that we are doing it. But you, 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 they will change it small. The question, which, but at least you get the idea what we are doing. Okay, hey, this one it means that if I give you one hour crop, you know, feel it because it's not even easy <laughs> going through the thing to select. It's, okay, he therefore carried out a study of European used car retail market to identify the favorable country. Okay, and now the guy, somebody said something earlier, which will play here. Where the highly petroleum cars could be imported from, and to select a partner who could offer these of cars. Resource complementary. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, focus on resource complementarity, which is focus on. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, what else? How about systematic Focus, uh, partner systematic search? Partner search. Yeah. It is part of it, but has she started searching for a partner? I can say it's partner selection criteria. Can you see it? What about effective cross-cultural communication? Because they are trying to find a favorable country, so probably countries that, 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 that is also true. That is also true. But it's also he's also giving you a, a, a type of a, a, a person can so selection selection criteria to here. We are doing multiple code, you know, gentlemen. Let, let's try to make each code on one, one, one line so that it makes it easier. Okay. So this one is these two codes are here. So what do you somebody said something right? I said what effective cross-cultural. Cross -cultural. So let yeah. me say cross-cultural. Mm -hmm. I'm please. I'm just using shorter ones because we all understand what we are doing. Oh, yes. uh, please. Some people are typing. Oh, but please help. Look at what they are typing. Help us. Okay, bro. I can see that, but I can say I can also see this one here. You know, please. It's not everything that you see that will be in the in 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 the quadra model. Quadra's model may not be be. Uh, you can also add variables you are seeing. I can see selection criteria. Okay. A partner who could offer is a selection criteria. Is that not true? So you are you have to have clear partner, clear selection criteria, clear partner, clearly defined motives. Okay, no, clear partnership motive or partner selection. Systematic criteria. partner search doesn't it for to select a partner who could offer these cars? You are saying it because the search person has activities in it. This is the activity. You, the reason why you are saying that, it's not wrong what you are saying is wrong, but that one is a higher level code. I'm trying to talk about the fact that before you can arrive at a systematic partner search, you should have a selection criteria. Is that not true? All so right. what is telling me here is more about a selection Maybe criteria. Maybe something. From what about the expectation based on So what he's saying, what the lady is saying, it is part of this whole. But the reason why I'm not writing that is that I'm trying to say, I'm trying to look at what I'm seeing first before I write it. Otherwise, everything you see, in fact, everything here is a systematic partnership. But what are the activities? What is, this thing tells you that it's an activity. What are the steps in the activity? He didn't tell us. But if you read the paper, you will see it inside. Lady, um, oh. um, uh, 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 I don't know who, who is, I couldn't see the name of who talked about, but lady. Oh, it's good. I understand Hold you on. now. So uh -huh. it's okay. I understand you. Thank you. Prof. Prof. Oh, please talk. Open, open, please help me. If somebody is talking, it's maximum like, age. So, can we go maximum age? It's all pattern selection. Qualify that. No, that but is, that's uh, we are not looking about the selection of the cow. We are looking at selection of the partner. So, the, the mileage and thesis about the partner should be able to give me cars of this. That's clear, clearly defined partner selection criteria. Clearly defined. Okay. Is that okay now? Yes, please. But um, what about expectation based on country image? Because we realize that in the country, the cars that have been used for 10 years, there was something like a barrier that uh, a law against it. And now. Okay, what you're saying is true, but it, you see, it's part of the negotiation. So when we get to negotiation, they start talking, then we use that one. Okay. It's, you are right, though. You are right. All right, this, all right, is, this is you're right, but I think it doesn't fit there well. It should be exclusive, it should be exhaustive. Okay, it please, right. well. importing cars that were more than 10 years attracted this. All these things are what are part of the uh, this is the reasons behind this one clearly defined pattern selection criteria. Is that not true? Is it not true? Yes, bro. It is. Yes. Please, those of you who are in good place, you can unmute yourself so we can engage because we don't have time. We want to finish. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Okay, through the internet and auto trade magazine, join research. Aha. So now the systematic pattern search through internet, and you see these are the sources of the search. The, uh, Roda, do you see where the searching is? Taking yeah. So we are seeing that he searched three left and drive countries, but it is part of systematic partner search. 
is also part of um culture expectation based on practicing cultures I, I think it's more about expectations based on country image. That is about this part. Image. But what about this part? What about this part? What is this one? Is it the honest assessment of resources? No, no, this one, the one I've highlighted. Also, focus on. I think Bob, that is more of the systematic. Thank you. This is the so it's telling you systematic pattern search, uh, search sources or search, uh, because this is where the through this, this is where the searching is actually taking place. Yes. Okay. If I, we, let me just use a word, uh, partners. Partner search. Partner search, because the systematic is more about the whole process. Partner search. Okay. But if you want to just link it to the, 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 the theory itself, you just use systematic, partner. we are just, can you let me put it there for, for to make, Oh, but we are not hearing anything from you. You are you, you are you not seeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. uh, what about here? What what somebody said something about this one that this is what about expectation yeah, based uh, on country image. Country image. Yeah. Country, country, image. Image. country yeah. image. So it's more this one is about country image. Country image. We don't know what the expectations are, but it's about country image. So selecting the country which could fit it. But uh, uh, but it's actually also part of um um, um, the left hand drive part is more about resource complementarity. If you realize the car should be able to be used yes, in Ghana, yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay, okay, good. He contacted so, car dealers. Sorry, how about motives are of strategic importance? Um, yeah, actually, you're also right. In fact, between that one and this one, which one is much more closer? But yes, about the searching process. So I think we should stay. We should stay with the the search process. Get us on it. But it's actually the, the choice of the left hand drive is motive of strategic importance, and the strategic importance is that the country, the country image. Ghanaians don't like some countries in terms of your bike cars, <laughs> and then and then the, the resource. So the two of them are, are relevant. The two of them are relevant to um, what you just said. Um, you let me put it there, strategic motive. You see, all the two fit the person's strategic motive. Now, I see that some of the codes are becoming mutually, uh, 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 not mutually exclusive. Like, they are actually depending on each other. That is when you start putting patterns together, like the, the, the axial ones. He contracted, he contacted car retailers in this. This one is, I think, Systematic percentage. I think we are, 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 are we are okay with this one. Is that Roda? Is that not true? Yeah. This whole thing. It is. Everything is there. <laughs> Use car uh, cars from Germany. Okay, these are the reasons, the choices. These are choices. So pattern selection criteria. Is that not true? So yeah. 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 I think it also fits into the expectations based on country. Based. Expectations mm. based on ah uh, yeah 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 Germany was of high level. Okay. Yeah. yeah, used cars from Germany had a high level of service and seemed to be in the better condition as compared to cars of relatively the same age and mileage yeah, from right. the Netherlands. Right. Over this body, I understand the thing one answer. They have been buying cars. <laughs> Some of them are maybe sell cars online already. <laughs> okay. uh, after three months of after three months of online communication, what is this? Is there? It's in the theory. What is it? And um, effective, effective cross, 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 cross no, communication. After and three and months of online communication. Unless assessment of No. Time, time, time. This is time matter, time matter. Yeah. Time matter. yeah. yeah. Adequate time to do it. Yeah. Adequate time to do it. Adequate time to do it. Challenge. Is that exact question? Conditions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it's like the exam, we can yeah. do group work. You do group work in the exam. <laughs> okay. He established a business relationship with um, German. Preference oh. for joint management. Preference for joint management. Preference for joint management. Yeah. Who was? Okay, good, good, good. 
is the model the, the model we have chosen is the right model it's giving us everything yeah okay what is it okay okay Braun had previously effective cross Braun has effective cross culture communication hey effective cross culture like... communication <laughs> take your time take your time Oh my pressure, oh my pressure. Okay, so Brown had previously worked as a child. He said, What well, what did he say? No, I don't watch uh, no problem. We were talking about who, who was who was relatively, relatively adept to Gora and Mitchin. Gora and English. Ah, uh, that's preference for Jordan. Ah, uh, this Ura one. The last one. Okay. Instrumental in expressive performance. No, 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 Prof, I think it's intercultural competence. This is, this is, this is, no, this is. Ah, yeah, the Togo part is intercultural competence. We are right. Yeah. And there's another thing there. There's another thing there. Experiencing uh, uh, sporting class of Africa. That one too is intercultural competence. Yeah. <sighs> I talk what this one focus well, on what about, about instrumental and, and expressive and performance. performance. It's instrumental and expressive performance because he had he had yeah. been the technical director for yeah, so Mercedes Benz is big, yeah. It's a big one. It's a big one, it's true. So that, so this one, yeah. the Mercedes Benz is what is <laughs> so if you chose that like, he had been doing it for uh, uh yeah, um let me see this uh, there's this car brilliance, some car became to Ghana called brilliance. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand and yeah, would you have said that one? <laughs> fiat, fiat, fiat. No, the oh, last was a Chinese car. Oh. Yes, China. Or or Gili, Gili. There's a car. There's a car called Gili. Sometimes the Chinese, the names they give to their cars, it doesn't even give you confidence. Cars <laughs> die. <laughs> anyway, I think they translate the name. Or a local something. Well, he owned garages in, in Nuremberg and Hamburg, like which taught both new and used cars. Which one is one? Resource. Uh, yeah. uh, resource complement. Resource complement. Well, your guy was looking for used cars, so you're right. Resource yeah. complementarity. Okay, what else? Somebody's writing the thing. Hey, somebody's writing the thing, oh. Hey, boys. <laughs> uh, you think you're, you're copying the thing for, <laughs> for the exam. <laughs> stop writing. <laughs> Where, how, how can I stop the notation? Uh, okay, you let's continue. I have to erase it. Okay, erase. Where's the eraser? Thank you. Well, I can stop you from annotating. Okay, good. Um, two, two business meetings were arranged to ascertain the business position and establish memorandum of understanding. Perfect for joint management. And then trust. Contract oh, no, the trust has not taken place. So look at the two business. This is the motive. Mm -hmm. Motive of strategic importance is Point. And then this one, what about this one? Joint learning. Joint so learning. learning is what happened at the meeting. Yes. Contract based collaboration. collaboration. Contract. The contract has not been signed, though. Okay. Got into contract yet? It's not about time so again. Adequate time to know to know each other. <laughs> then what? The... Adequate time to know each other. Two business meetings. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you should look at the things where oh, well, then the, the, the other things there. What else is there? Trust, trust. No, the trust, the trust is an outcome. It has not yet happened. Look, please look mm. at the only this to part. Ascertain, to ascertain there's motive. The this is to, to ascertain to motive, motive. Yeah. 
to ascertain the business opportunity. The motive of so joint board. learning. Mm -hmm. so preference for joint management. Pre preference for joint management. If effective, preference for joint management. Effective. Clearly defined motives. Because it's no. telling why they were doing the business. Motives of strategic importance. Motives of strategic strategic effective. motives. Motives of strategic importance. Or strategic motive. Effective cross communication. I wanted to establish it. Sir, please, I would want to ask a question. Yeah. Hey, please ask, ask a question. Ask a question. Sir, please, with this one, I, I think that bef um, um, I, I am also looking at trust um, because um, one. Uh, to um, establish if, the trust. Yes, because okay. if even if they don't meet, you know, most of these business people, until you meet them, there's no way um, trust to be established. Everybody has doubts on the other side. And then, Prof, I think because they are signing a memorandum of understanding, of it's understanding, going to yeah. to trust. All right. Then the cultural based collaboration is also there. Is that true? Um, question mark. Contract business. Yeah, Ajman. Ajman, go ahead so that we can go we can, can talk. Oh, please, I would like to ask a question. Oh, please, uh, uh, your hand is already up. Yeah, I say you like to ask a question. Yeah, prof. <laughs> prof. Yes, please. I want to know if in exams, <laughs> will there be a chance for us to explain why we are choosing any of these? Because it seems Objective. there are some of them, people are having different opinions. <laughs> and you realize when they explain, it makes it sense. Makes sense. It makes sense. Yes. So hey, then everybody will explain something. everything away. <laughs> yeah, somebody may tweet something and on the first thought you think, oh, this is not it. But later when they explain and give reasons to why they think it's so, you realize they are making sense. So I want I to think, know if... I think in the, in the framework think, of the table, we should have a place for... Uh, uh, motive, motive, motive behind choice or explanation notes, notes. Oh, oh comments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Comments, yeah. something yeah. like that. <laughs> What's it? Yes. Discussion, comment. We have a lot of set questions, no? discussion. Hey, discussion. Prof, I'm assuming you don't have any Please, no more. Then everybody will pass. Yes. I'm no motive, please. Uh, Prof, no, please, no I'm assuming you don't have any comments. Can you skip the comments? <laughs> I bet the guy, if you have comments, you can. It's not compulsory to show that part. Okay. Yes. You don't exactly. that part, which yeah. You, Let's, let's continue. We are not finished. He said during the second meeting, uh, John had an opportunity to familiarize himself with the used car export process in Germany. So which one is one? Joint joint learning. Joint learning, yeah. Joint learning, joint learning. Now what again? On what can talk education. about honest assessment of resources. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. Unless assessment of yes. resources. Even not the, uh, of, of processes. This one is about process. Yes. So, so not just the resources alone. Prof, how about contract yes, based saying, collaboration? Yeah. Contract based collaboration. The contract has been done already. This one, this one, you have an opportunity to familiarize yourself. So you're telling us what happened in the meeting. Adequate okay, time bro. to know each other has been captured already. Yeah. But this is not the actual work. This is just about just let's see after that. we have to draw the draw the relationships and find the factors. So let's continue, please. Hey. It was agreed that <laughs> it is a consumer <laughs> will have to pay, make full, <laughs> full, full payment. What's this one? Complementary. Uh, focus on resource complementarities. Yeah. Oh, no, no, this one, they, they, they have established that. Okay, this one, it could be part of here. All right, it could be part of here. Economic. Okay. 
Okay, so this is it. But this mm -hmm. one, uh, this is what is interesting. This one is all about the terms, establishing the terms for the this, for the partnership. Is it, is, it, is it a contract based collaboration? Instrument, instrument, contract, contract, um, uh, uh, partnership, partnership terms or what? It may not be there, but it's, it's something yeah. important. Well, so the contract and expressive performance will capture the terms of. No, 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 that's well, what this one is about. Well, how about exclusively economic? Those are motives, but this one is more about we deciding um, and what we want to do. Okay, exclusive economic, I understand, but I think it's more about the contract terms. If you look at the instrumental and expressive performance, so, sir, um, to does this not talk about the performance? No, it's about the performance of the person, like if you assess ah, okay, it. Okay, okay. Bro, so, it's it, the contract based collaboration. Yeah, it's contract based collaboration. It's about contract. What is in the contract? And this one is more about the terms. What's expected of each part? Yeah. The, what is expected of the party? Someone is tuning a radio. Also, Charlie. Obed, do deal with it, please. Probably, probably it's because you are speaking, I am unable to. I think it's a background. So look, look at the person and then. And then. Look at the, where the, the, the mic is coming from. Braun also um, has honesty and transparency in business. Which one is, is this trust? Trust. Yes, trust. Yes. Trust. Yes, please, trust. After what you don't make the first pitches. Especially <laughs> economic. Uh, yeah, it's exclusive um, economic. The motive was uh, the strategic importance to come and show Ghana that the thing exists. Ghanaians want to see the car at that time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't well, want how to about define oh. motive? See, that's the reason why you went there. Sorry, how about defined motives? Since that was your main concern, why you went to the UK. Yeah, but market study and supply management. But it was which of them? The, this one is a, a, it's an economic motive and a strategic one too. <laughs> okay, clearly defined. Oh. I think that one is the first part. If you are saying, it, then I will give it to the first one. Let me type it in couple. Remember. You have said something very important. Remember the first time we read it, the guy said that he's going to UK to do something. Is this one? It's part here. So all the train matter here. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think we are we are true. We are true with it. That's right. The last one, both the market study and then supply evaluation. So let's write it. This way I see market study. It's all part of um, what's the name? Supply evaluation. And then um, um, use of email and internet. Uh, um, We've, we previously had a case like that. Telecommunication. To solve technology. Mm. Uh, technology. Mm. Yes, bro. I think this is good. Okay, then I think in that case, the other one we saw too should have been this one. Should have, yeah. The first one. No, this one is. It's internet and auto trades. It's offline, online. Uh, so we are seeing what you are saying is true. Okay, now let's try and build build the relationships. Hello, Prof. Yes. Please, my confusion lies is at for what you just did. The the last part. Um, Which last part? No, the last part you just did on the emails the and the rest. Uh huh. What's wrong? 
these are the these are the tools that you use supplier search tools where, where is the confusion I don't, I don't understand why it says confused. Is, is it not clear? Hello, Prof. Yeah. Yeah. My confusion here is that I thought like we're looking at what has been defined to come out with um, a description of what is happening. But no, this, no, no. Uh, take, take, take your time off. We said, we said that you can actually develop codes from both the data and from the theory. The theory has things here, but this one, it tells you straight. You don't even need the theory to look at. These are tools for your session. The problem is that if you keep on looking at the theory, you good find a lot of your things and you try to force some things which are not supposed to be there. But you are supposed to also look out for this and you can be able to use it to learn more interesting things. Right now, there's market studies and supply evaluation. You realize that if you are doing the study, whatever it is, these are the two things that actually constitute systematics partnership, if you realize. Okay. So the theory and then what is in the data. Good. Thank you. So what you are going to do is that we are not going to draw the Listen. So usually what you do is that you put all you put all the listening in boxes, all of them, and start moving them around. Because some of them will have different relationships. But I think there's one clear one we can see in the, the beginning. Clearly defined motives, economic motives, strategic motives, when they come by combined, they become what motives. Do you understand me? Yes, please. Okay. So we could actually draw that one first. So uh, this one is two. I, I drew this one go here and goes here. So what if you want to draw that one? Let me I have to use some wisdom in being this thing. Otherwise, I'll struggle. <laughs> Which for good exams are we supposed to do the box one too? Yes, please. Hey. <laughs> no, why do you think I'm taking my time? It's a neighbor. So that's actually what you do in your your you do actually in your work. Um the thesis. So this is first order, second order, and third order. The, I wanted something simpler too. Oh, I wish I could. I can't find this, but I'm trying to do a select. I'm looking for the select uh, button. Oh, why is it? Probably you want to select the boxes. Yeah, yes, I select them as a whole, like, not like this one, like the one you just draw around it and to select all of them for you. There used to be a select tool. Probably you can, you can hold control and in a, you are using a Mac. Sorry. You don't worry, I can hold control. What? You tell me I can. Okay, so if you use control and then select, you can select them in in multiple. No, I know that one, but that's not what I wanted to do. So, and then when you finish, then you move them. There will be an option. the questions. If you make go solve them, I can have my turn. The guy who is talking, does he know that you are here? We are all here. <laughs> I'm surprised. He's forgotten himself. Now, wow. Okay, so let's, I'll use a fresh one. Okay, good. This is better. So this is what I was trying to tell you that um, I can put this one here. I can see one of them has this one. I see this one. The... Okay, good. Cut. Then, um... okay, so look at it. I can see that the Good. 
this one, the clearly motives, this, this, this three of them, one, two, three, they can lead to motive. But I don't know what it will lead to. May, motive we have to combine with another one to come to something else. But this, all this one, clearly defined motive. So I can say clearly defined. I can even put all of them in the one box. Okay, so let's put all of them in one box so that we well, yeah, they are all yeah, they are all, but no, but it will not show you the interaction well. That's why I didn't want to do that. I want to I'm trying to teach you guys something too. So allow me to do it the way I will best fit me. Okay, so this will be economic motive and strategic. Good. And they'll all lead to what? Motives. Motives. Good. Motives can combine with something else to generate something else here. Okay. That is one. Okay. So let's continue. We have done that one. Resource complementarity. Okay. Of course, cultural communication. Clearly defined selection criteria. So all of them are coming to different, different ones. So because you have a model here, this one is, is very easy for, for you. So the model is really gui guiding you to be able to even know. But if there's no model, you also have to try to actually find out what will happen. To notice. So in that case, you see, I, I want to do the systematic partner search for you to see something interesting that um, will happen. You may have not realized it, but when I finish it, you see what I'm talking about. Just trying to. Uh -huh. Aha, this is what I'm looking for. Should we here select? Oh, anyway. Good, I grouped it. So now I can group it. Good. THD, pull it down. Good. Uh -huh. This is what I wanted to do. Thank you very much. Now, do you realize that? Oh, I didn't copy the other one. I left one. Okay. Hmm. Let me just do this one as I can do it. Okay, 
Interesting. Anyway, it's not picking. So let me just. And that is when I use this and I'm really struggling. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was this. Ah. All right. So when you look at um Partner selection. So we have got partners clearly defined partner selection criteria. Remember, we saw that one. Yes, please. Then we also saw another one um, supplier search technologies. You realize it? Yes, sir. Good. Okay. And then the model also showed us something else. Uh, focus on complementarity, adequate time to know each other. So we saw one, two, three. We saw all these three, didn't we? Systematic. Yes, we yeah, we did. Yeah. OK. So systematic partner search, we saw this one. Then we also saw adequate time to know each other from right. Let me see if I can find it. Adequate time to know each other. OK. Good. Now, what else did we see? And we saw, what does the variable say? Uh, sorry. The model also says something there. Oh, motif. Where have I put the model? Good. We saw this one too, a systematic such a uh, focus, uh, focus on resource complementarity, focus on okay. Let me see if I can find it here. Focus on resource complementary. Okay, so we saw these trends. And we are saying that these, these things led to what? Um, gentlemen, what did it lead to? Lead to partner search and systematic selection. Systematic search. No, partners, partner search and selection. Okay, that's a very good point. You actually said something which is true. This one, there's a search and then there's a selection. So adequate time to know each other is about a selection. Is that not true? Focus on resource complementarity. It's about the selection. It's about the selection. Good. Okay, so let, this is what is going to happen. You have actually pointed out something that, so this is going to be here like this.
And then this other one is about what? Supply search tools. We saw only this one, the search tools. And the search tools, we saw two types, online and offline. Online, do, do you remember auto trade magazines? Yes, please. Online That's and rough. then print um, and print. He didn't say whether you read them online and print. Okay. Okay. So we saw. Uh, partner search. Good. Now this is what I wanted to show you. If you look at it, this is going here. And then this same thing that you use declare the defined criteria, it could also go to partner selection. In my view, I may be wrong. Then adequate time to know each other. You know, when Quadra did the thing, Quadra didn't show you the relationships very well, but we are showing the relationship between them. So it is these two. It is these two that combine to become partner search and selection. Do you understand me? Yes, who, who doesn't understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you something. Why it's good to do this analysis? I'm going to show you something. Partner search and selection. Okay. So this one will partner search online, partner search, and this is so partner search. Partner selection criteria. Okay, now um, remember that the guy called it, and um, the other people call it partner selection, but this one, the other person called supply evaluation. Mm. So this is what you use to evaluate the, the, the supplier. Remember, we have supplier evaluation down there. Yes, bro. Good. Yes, bro. Good. And then we also have another thing that you, you guys forgot. Um, this one, look at it. Market study. Where is the market study coming in? But nothing. Actually, you can remove this one, it's mechanisms, but technically, this one is the online search technologies. And then when you combine the two, somebody can just say that he did also did, um, um, he, he can combine them market and then get study. market study in the middle here. Because when you, when you, you use a search, sorry, to do the study, you use this one, this one, this guy, you use this one, to, because you are studying your market study, you are, you are got your selection criteria. So use the selection criteria and then and then either this one or these two to generate your market study. I don't know whether you understand what I'm trying to say. Do you realize what I'm trying to say? So these three, one, two, three will come here, or you can pull it from here. Whichever one is to still work. So the mechanisms is what is going to help you to do your market study. Mechanism plus the uh, selection criteria gives market study. Good. Because the, the market the market study has to take place online or and then and offline. Oh, I want to draw it nicely. I think I have to do it like this. 
Oh, am I struggling like that? Okay. Uh, I think that trying to do it smaller is what is giving me an issue. Oh, let me just leave it like that. <laughs> Prof. Yes, good. Uh, please, I have a question. Okay. Uh, Prof, uh, looking at the market study and then the partner stage mechanism, I think this too will happen before you get the supplier evaluation. So why don't we put the supply evaluation as a relationship between these two? All right. Now the market study, yes. this two happens, and when the market study goes, then it goes to a supply evaluation. Evaluation. Yes. So I rather try to say that when you, uh, after you have had this one, then you are evaluating. You, you get to know the, the suppliers. You get to know the suppliers. You list the trade that you shortlisted. Yes, please. Then you you evaluate them. Yes, please. Wow, that's a very good uh, point. Okay. So to, it will come here. Technically, or what you're trying to say is that one, two, plus adequate time to know each other. Then it means that adequate time to know each other and then resource distance should be, should be what? Because what you're trying to say that the supply of oh, And you don't agree. Yeah. No, he's saying supplier that supplier evaluation. Yes. Continue. So one, one aspect is talking about the supplier of the cars dealing with all the, and then the other aspect is looking at the um, characteristics of the, 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 the business and all that. So the market study talks about the characteristics of the car and how you got it. And then the supplier evaluation looks at uh, who is delivering. So the two come together to help you choose the right partner because you need the right car. Yeah. And then you need the right person to work with. To work with. Yeah. Okay, all right. So that means that market study has to also come here. The arrow should come here too. If you are right. Is that not true? What you're saying is that by the end of the day, market study should lead to this. Should lead to partner selection and Good. search. Good. Now, do you see how, what you've done? Now, do you see how yours is now different from Quadra's own? This is how you contribute. Quadra didn't tell us anything about search, uh, pattern search mechanisms. Quadra just gave us um, 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 pattern search and selection. And the things inside was more about supplier evaluation. And then he, he lumped all of this one, systematic pattern search into, into one variable. All these things you are doing here, these two things. He lumped them as systematic pattern search. So that's why I was trying to avoid the systematic pattern search as a statement because I was realizing it doesn't actually tell you anything that is going through the process. So now you have contributed to theory. Now, when you draw your model, you now have to tell us that the thing called pattern search and selection is, is, is a is a uh, is a is a, a, a dependent variable that depends on pattern search mechanisms, the market study and then the supply evaluation. However, market study and public search will tend to also interrelate. The different, the, the search mechanisms you use, do, you use can either limit or expand your market study. Do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Valid, sir. Good. This is one of the, this is some of the relationships you're looking for. This motive here is motive, this motive, I don't know where to go to until we are finished the work. So clearly defined motives economic motives, does it inform any of these things? I think it involved, the motives inform the, can also inform the market study. Anyway. Yes.
I can, can, I can go beyond because the motives were informing so many things. Me, I think the motives define what I'll say, the posture of the of the uh, of, of John, who is the owner. Because the selection criteria shows that you should also know your uh, um, uh, um, there's something I learned when I was doing my PhD master's called uh, uh, um, managing self and others. You should know yourself what you want. Then you should. Mm. So me, I think you just clearly define motives, economic motives, strategic motives. Then this one, uh, it goes to the motives of the. This one define the motives of the. Uh, is it a client? He's the one looking for the. Um, prof, prof. Yes. Please, I have a suggestion. Yes, please. Um, I was thinking that, um, um, you know, with the second diagram, we are talking about partner search and selection. Mm -hmm. And that before the guy will do, select a particular, or even search, of, search for a particular category mm -hmm. of a partner before he does the final selection, he would have his motive that he wants to meet. So the motive for drive um, us into who will be part of the partners to be set and at the end of the so day I the motive was partly informing um the category one. of partners the the guy's motive will inform the category of partner that uh, will be included in the partner search because yeah, I mean, that if that's the case motives then what you are saying is a very interesting thing now motive then what you are saying then is motives should also sorry Motives should also come from here to this one. Yes, because in profit, you realize when you was so everything that you do, it will come back to your motive. Your motive yes. will get you to choose. Okay, okay. The partner search. That is how I, I see the link. I, I get what you're trying to say. It makes sense. So instead of motive going straight on its own, it would rather come down. Yes, yes, bro. Yes, sir. Okay. That's happening. So as a result of choosing a partner online is now a, a, a value of for now there are other things we could have found but for now that we have done the motives of the client of the of you the uh, i don't know i want to use the word client you the one who are the one searching for the researcher no the finding a car supply online so you are the um That's the, the buyer the buyer good en inquirer oh, you're, you're the buyer you're the buyer uh, or you are the owner, manager, or whatever. Okay. So the motives you have, which is defined by clearly defined, which should be clearly defined, it should be economic driven and it should be strategic. That's what you are saying. Good. Should come to your partner search mechanisms you use, you conduct a market study, and then you also evaluate. When you do a market study, it will help you to evaluate the uh, supply. So the market study and the supply evaluation. So, so your market study helps you for for the cars. In fact, the market study is about everything, both the cars and the possible person who can actually help you select the car. Then after that, you see, evaluate the shortlisted. Is that not true? So can no we can we put so, an arrow from here to the down one? Would, yes, please, bro. Yes, the supply it, and the it, it should be an arrow. Yeah. Perfect. This is interesting. This one is interesting. So technically, what you're saying is that the Asia code, these two combined to generate this one. Wow. 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 This class is interesting. OK. So let's end it here. <laughs> because point for all of <laughs> no, what is, what is happening is that you, you have not finished. Oh. You. you have other variables. Yes, bro. Yeah, Prof, please, yeah, let's continue. Oh. Prof, 10 points for it. Everyone. <laughs> so now, I think there's something more we have left. This supply evaluation. I think the supply evaluation is not finished. All these things are there. In the cultural part and all this is not come. I think we need yes. another, another set of this. Now we'll come here and come and join the uh, uh, yes. supply evaluation. Are we right? Yes, bro. Right. The, the total outcome is what? Is the supplier search 
an evaluation. Is that so? Okay. Yes, Prof. Uh, I, the cultural win, I see them to be a reason for the supply evaluation, cultural compatibility and stuff. So if you can draw an arrow that tries to, for example, if you get numerous suppliers, sometimes you may want to select one or two out of it. And that may be, okay, so uh, you can I use cultural say, grounds. He says that this, oh, where did I paste this? Let me narrow down this a bit so that we can see everything. So what you're trying to say is that this one will be here, all going to supply evaluation. What you call, uh, you are calling it. Um... Yes, yes, Prof. I, I think they have some linkage. Because the search will give you a pool of suppliers. Then you can use the resource complement and, but uh, you know, you know the supply version in two types. There was the online one and then the in-person one. Because some of the things you are talking about, the three months of um, adequate time to know each other. Okay, that, that, that would be too detailed if I want to go that far. But then I have to code for the online one. I have to code for the. So this is trust. After trust, what do you have? You said trust that you said something intercultural, something, something, something. Competence. Effective cross cultural. Uh, boys, do you think them? I don't think that. Do you think the markets? Okay, let me finish. You said effective. Let's finish. Let me take honest assessment of processes. Okay. Let's put all the social, the social, uh, the social mechanisms at one place. Mm -hmm. yeah, so okay. honest is all social. These are things that are very subjective. So honest assessment, trust. Let's put them in all one one column, so that we can then joint learning is an activity. It has, it has to be done in person. So let's put it joint learning over here. It's an activity. That one, I think they even travel together. They went to places. Uh, and joint learning will come to, uh, joint learning will help you with the honest assessment of this thing, sorry. Then cross-cultural communication will go to the trust. Is that not true? I'm not saying, I'm saying it will go together. I'm not trying to see that to go together. I don't want to draw. Um, so cross-cultural communication will come here. When you have better cross-cultural communication, then to lead to, okay, what else? Contract ever, uh, based this now and it's not be here. I think contract based this. Prof, Prof, please, I have a question. Yes, please. Prof, mm -hmm. please, um, if you look at trust and cross cultural communication, you see trust is more of more or less like the individual's demand, but cross cultural will be the market base, what the people will demand. So if you put the two in one box like that, because trust is what I prefer in the relationship, but with issues of culture, it may be. A national issue. Charlie, analysis now is deep. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I was trying to avoid more boxes, <laughs> but I realized that we coded so much. <laughs> uh, I don't blame. I don't blame what he's saying. You know, we have forgotten that. All of this comes to call something called cultural preparedness. That's all. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Cultural preparedness should, should, should rather come as, as another factor. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let me ask, you, ask a question. We have a market study, and then we have got supply evaluation. So to supply, evaluation, let's do it well. I think what this is what should happen. Let's, let's draw it well. Let's draw it well. You have um, cultural preparedness. Then underneath, you have all the things that will follow fall underneath that one. Then you have another one called management and performance. So performance relationship. Performance. Performance evaluation. OK. Um, 
Okay. Then he said he had another one called Alliance Negotiations. Okay. So we have done the three. So underneath this one, we'll have three, we'll have three things each. Do you understand me now? Yes. Good. It is these three things that will come and add on to uh, um, what we have called here as supplier evaluation. So all these ones will help evaluate. evaluate the supplier. Is that not true? <coughs> is that not true? Yes, please. So what you are now trying to say is that to, for, so to evaluate the supplier, you will need clearly defined partner criteria, adequate time to know each other, focus on resource complementarity. You have to also manage the person's performance, check you are culturally prepared, and then, and, and, and then um, in fact, I don't want to call this one alliance. This one is not alliance, this in negotiation, but this one I should drop it. Um, because this one, we don't have this one. We rather have contract something, something. What is it? Contract based collaboration. And contract based collaboration, I will, personally, I would not like to put it there. Oh. I would like to put it here that it's part of the things that come out at outcome contract because because they they define what you are going to do. So somebody to also put it. So we have got this one. Okay. So underneath underneath this one, what do we have? We have got honest assessment. I think I'm okay. Okay. But, and then what is it? Honest assessment of resources and pool. Then you have um, resource and complementarity. It's already gone there. Honest assessment, then you have got joint learning. Is that not true? Then instrument. Instrumental. The people who are helping me have now occupied or they have left. An expressive performance. And what expressive? Is it expressive? Performance. Yes. An expressive performance. Okay. The cultural preparedness will be uh, um, trust. And then what to do? Intercultural distance. Trust. Intercultural. Intercultural competence. Competence. Then there's something called effective. Effective cross cultural communication. Cross cultural communication. Okay, I get, I get it. I agree with you guys. Then, yeah, I want to just put contract collaboration, based collaboration. This one, clearly, you need clearly defined terms. Okay. On negotiated terms, in fact, we negotiated. We should have written it down. Terms. Now, what again? Um, this one we location based on country. Where is the country? Uh, your country image. 
I can't actually imagine. Is it, is it supposed to be here? The country image was part of our market, was part of our selection criteria. Country image, and then what again? Honest assessment of resources. Okay. I put the honest assessment of resources here as performance evaluation, which is also good. Then joint learning here. And I also put this one instrumental performance. Here. Preference for joint management. I know that one is not. I'm not using the same thing that he used. Okay, I'm not using yeah, negotiated. Yeah. Okay, country image. A country image. It will affect your 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 contract. Yeah, contract. Yeah, they can because you want a particular image to support you, and then. That's why Germany was picked over Belgium. And yeah, the contract. Okay. So when we say these three things, now yes, we are saying now arguing that these things will go to where it will go to okay, good. And then good, and then another one. Good. So now look at what you have done. Very interesting. It seems you have done it for everybody now. So now what are we saying? We are saying that, we are saying that the factors that matter for you to be able to select a partner, online partner, is your motive, your search mechanisms, market study, and your supply evaluation. That's all. But all of them, the most complex one is the supply evaluation. That alone has one, two, three, four, five, six issues. Your criteria, adequate time to know each other, focus, a performance evaluation, cultural preparedness, and contract-based negotiations, collaboration. The market study, you also need a, 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 a criteria, and then you need some partner search your partner search mechanism, how you look for your partners. Partner search mechanism is more on a supply chain, this and that. Now, the motives and all those things will end up working with all of these things to help you choose. So now we have finished the study. This is the answer for the exam question. Exams, what? okay. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Oh. <laughs> it's quite complex, so. <laughs> I hope we can uh, already clearly yeah, defined factors in the market study. Clearly defined factors in the market study. Yeah, they use pointed it to the partner search again, pointed it to the market study again. Yes, because your partner criteria can be very broad. Remember that he said it's just yeah. about Ghana. I was thinking since it's already in the partner search and they've marked it to the market study. It's not supposed to mark directly to the market study. It will mark directly. It's some, some things influence you on all of them. When you go to here, it will also tell you, I tell her it will not go here, Ada. You are saying it will not go here, Ada. The partner yeah, either it will go that place or it will go here. No, it can't go. The mechanisms. OK, I understand what you are trying to say. Mm. So rather you go here and come down. Yes, or point it directly to the market study. So if you don't come good. down, what you're actually saying is that before market study can go to supply evaluation, so this one will come to this one and come to market study, then to go to this one. Yes, please. Uh, so this is one of the mechanisms for searching your criteria. So this is the where you will search, and this is the criteria for searching. That's what you're saying. Yes, please. Yes, please. And they will come together and become your what? A search. Your partner search that, mechanism. And that will define your Market, market study. study. Market study. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. Then which will lead to your suppliers to select some suppliers and you evaluate the suppliers. Good. Yes, please. So, but all of these are integral ingredients into your partner search and selection. So one, yeah. two, one, one, two, three is doing partner search. The same one, two is doing the selection. Your motives and the supplier evaluation will do your selection. That is why, if you, to make it very complex, you have done another arrow coming to select supplier evaluation, but it's not good. It's the combination of this and this that gives you the selection part. 
and the combination of this study and then motives that gives you the good. So technically, maybe this one should have been longer. If you're drawing landscape, this one will not be here. So then you are, guys, what you're trying to tell me is that it's about motives, study, evaluation, or motives and evaluation. No, motives and market study and evaluation, good. I think all of them matter. One, two, three, four, leading to this. Is that okay? Let's agree. Which of them, where, where, where are the answers? I mean, I think it's motive and then supply evaluation. Because the two are all pointing down to the supply evaluation. No, this one is not linking to this one. There's a difference between a market study and supply evaluation. So don't mix the two. Even a, a supply evaluation is what you evaluate. Before you can't have a market study before you can evaluate. So if you are saying it is this and that, I will agree with you. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. Good. So you are saying that this is embedded in this one. And yeah, technically, yes, we, 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 that one is also embedded. This, is, in this that one, one, we bought this one. We could actually have just sent all of this to the market study. So the same way we can send all of them to, to the supply evaluation. No, no, that one is two different things. Even the study is also mm -hmm. there's a the difference between market study and evaluation. In fact, technically, you can even drop this guy and let them all go together here and go and discuss <laughs> what was your macro <laughs> study results. <Yeah. laughs> Is that okay? Okay. So we drop. But the reason why we have that arrow there is that we wanted to point out that, that the market study will help you at a short list. Then you do an activity that will send you here. Do you understand okay. what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Okay. But do you know why I put this one here? I put this one here because I, we were forgetting that there's, the guy didn't capture this in his work, which is important. The type of search mechanisms you use will can actually narrow your study. So I think we should be rather, these are search mechanisms. Let's not add the criteria. The criteria will be in the market study. or search tools, online and offline. So, so Prof, the criteria, is it to the market study or to the supply evaluation? I'm going to help you. Online and what? And print. Go away, go away. Do you see what has happened? Good, this is the truth. Your supply search, search technologies, your predefined selection criteria will all go into your decision. That same criteria to guide you when you're doing your supply. Do you understand me? Remember that all the time, if you have to keep your supply, your shortlisted trade, that trade that you're shortlisted, still this one is going to still guide you in combining with the rest. Some of the things it comes from experience, and because me, I collected the data myself, and I was there. That's why I'm, I'm able to see that this one was still like. Because even sometimes when you are still choosing the person, we are not very smart. But you can even use an old car, or the way for the way for a new car, so not a sound <laughs> Okay. And sometimes people mutation buy the old car for scraps. If you have not heard about that one, too. please. Is it, are we agreeing? This is the answer. Yes, the idea for selecting this is the motives, yes. the market study, and your supply evaluation. Is that okay? Yes, bro. Market study. Yes. See, that is why those of you read the case study. The case study said it itself the principles and the mathematic processes employed in selecting and establishing a business collaboration. So, so market study and supply were great enable access. So you see all the three are here, internet and email, market study and supply evaluation. So now we have to think carefully. The, he, the guy, what we did was rather right. The internet was seen as a different level, market study was seen as a different level, and then this thing as a different level. This is these are the three variables. 
the search. Yes. Listen, the market study and supply evaluation. We have dropped the, that one. If you don't, if you don't make it apparent, it doesn't become strong. And the guy is even saying internet that the print one was not that strong for the person. So if you want to follow the case study itself, then you have to go back to what we did. Your search mechanisms. And let me show you something that I just I just realized that I didn't do. Oh. This arrow should be a different color. They are not part of the, they are just processes. This is the actual factors. It's not about how the factors, these are processes. So it's not, uh, this, uh, this, these are factors. Am I right? These factors contribute to this. These factors contribute. This one is coming here, it's a process that something will come out of this to go here. So we can't say this, this arrow is for where, where you belong. This one tells you a process. So let's not mix processes with um, the how the factors combine. So these two are the constituents of this. These two are the constituents of this. But this is not a constituent of this, actually. It's telling you that this one can help you, this one, to be able to generate something. That's what just telling me. Do you understand me now? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. OK, any argument? Uh, you can argue with me, but this is very good. <laughs> like the guy said, you, you explain your point. <laughs> okay, in summary, can one person try to explain what we have done? Yeah, bro. Mm. I want to ask a question, please. But I'm trying to say, let me point out, it doesn't mean that all the time the aggregate one will be one. You can have our three here. Somebody can even do the same thing and put three here. But I think this one, for the way we read, this is what is leading to. We're, we're trying to answer this question, were we not? Pattern selection. Yes, please, yes, prof. Please. Uh, prof. Prof. Yes, uh, yes. Prof, please. Uh, in the box, the, the supplier search technology online. You have to arrow point in the partner search. Is it? OK. You left out the print. Yeah, the print was part, but I think the online is what the guy said was matter most. Okay, but mm. if I he didn't actually say print, he said auto magazines. He didn't tell us whether it's offline or online. I just chose that in the UK they have the auto magazine as a print. That's why. Daily graphic. Uh, for, for question. I think where, where is that statement? Yes, continue, gentlemen. Continue. You can ask. Uh, so the second order, uh, according to the the paper that you showed, mm. there were three. It was talking about the set, the, the mechanism. So the, the paper that we the showed market. didn't tell us the relationship. This was just statement, issues and statements. And they said these statements, he is summing as a label like this. This one is label and label like this. He labeled them as that. So okay, he, so that means that but he didn't tell the relationship money. between the three. In fact, all of them, he sees all of them as one at one level. All these factors okay. matter in how um, developed countries and developing countries, you see. But ours was about selecting a supplier. This one is more about collaboration between developed and developing country okay. firms. We said online supplier. So it means that some things will matter. But we have taken something for granted. We have taken for granted that the online supplier knows how to use online. <laughs> because the guy was in Germany, it was not a problem. So we took it for granted. But if you are not online, you cannot actually... Remember they said they communicated for three months. Yes, uh, yes, yes. And it was online. So the where they communicate was also important. Okay, don't worry, but it's interesting. It is surprising that in exams, you guys can even come up with more interesting models than this. And then 20 points. Oh, please, will the exam be online or, or face to face? I've not yet decided. So I'll decide. Oh, online. 
Don't do this one on site. <laughs> so it's difficult to do it on site. Eh? Yeah, this one will be difficult to do on site. <laughs> you can give us a day to do all this. Yes, bro. Prof. Yes, yes. Hello, bro. Prof. Prof, you are, you ask a question. I'm interested in the answer because I got lost along the line. What are, what question do I ask? You ask in that in summary. Somebody should tell us what we have done. Ah. Uh, Nobody talks, so I just keep quiet. Somebody, somebody will help us because I actually want to hear that answer. Okay, I'm coming. No. Let me just show you something. This is what we did in another class. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find the. Okay, see how this one works. Look at it. So you are supposed to name all the things. So credit facility increase your business goals, man intimidation, financial store, studio banking. So this also combine and come operational fit. fit. Now look at it. The model itself, look at this. Oh, where is it? This is the model. You are looking at different types of fit. So tax. Fake te technological characteristics, performance benefits, and then, sorry, some of you can't see where, and technology use. So we did some, the person was doing a study on mobile mobiles, uh, mobile money interoperability, and he was trying to see why do people do it. So tax characteristics, technology characteristics, performance benefits, and then technology use. So when he was looking at some of the things that he drew, look at some of the things that he drew. Data structure related to customers of mobile money interoperability, the customer supplier settlement, client settlement, business settlement. So send it will lead to sending money. You see where the, this is the two things you can do, sending and receiving all. So look at it, customer congruence, cost avoidance, operational motives. Remember, and you go to sending money. General payment, money transfer, general settlements. It also, can also go to receiving money. And then customer use, personal use. So what he has done here is that instead of drawing boxes for each other, he combined some of them already. Do you guys do you understand me? So it can actually make it easier. Yes, cool. So in, in redrawing this, so what our advice is that I will send you what I did and redraw it to make it more simpler like this. I would like to your class try and redraw. The next week when you bring the redrawing, we can discuss the redrawing so that we all know how to use it in exams. So I'll give you a sample of this one. Do you understand me? And I'll tell you that go and redraw what I have done to look more like right. something like this. Okay. So me, I had only one outcome here. B. So you can divide it into parts now. Let me show you something. You can divide it into two things. Um, I can tell you that the, I want my outcome that you guys will do to become broken into two. Give me the partner search and give me the partner selection. Do you understand me? So two outcomes, the partner search and the partner selection. So you combine. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. That's the homework I'm giving you. I'm giving you this model. Go and redraw it to look like what Joseph has done here. What okay, Joseph has done here. But we want it to look and then number it. And we want it to give us two outcomes, partner search and partner selection. So Obed, Obed, see here. Hello, Prof. Hello, Obed. Prof. Okay, Obed. So this this finding supplies online, send it to them as is. Do you understand me? And then, but this one, which is titled um, "Interviewing Sample inter, Sample Interview Code," you should just copy only this page number, page number twelve, for them to look at how it is. Do you understand me? And give it to them. Yes, so they can learn from it. That so the the work is to try to um, redraw. So over type it somewhere so I can give it a redraw. The answer and uh, redraw the the factors that influence the data structure. It's called data structure. Data structure for the factors that influence online online uh, supplier selection to reflect an aggregate code that has partner search 
and then partner selection as independent. So they will have partners such as one outcome and partner. Now, this will be a very interesting thing for you guys because this thing can influence both the search and can influence both the selection. So you may have to draw it twice. Bless and code, you get it. This part is influencing both of them more. Okay. So what am I trying to say? What if, the bro, the motive? Bro, what if you draw it once and then you map it to the two? Good. Whichever one. So maybe to be in the middle. And then one will be up. So the partner set should be in the middle. Depending on, I just want to see the innovative way you guys can draw this. But we, this all should be in one box because they are all together. Remember, like what Joseph did. Look at Joseph's own. Oh, it made it easier. Combine, then they can lead to here. Then rather you do the combinations here. But here he combined and do the combinations here, rather. So whichever one. Is, okay. Oh, but do you understand the work? They are redrawing the data structure for finding uh, 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 an online supplier. Probably the lights went off, so I, I lost connection. So which of them are doing You are hearing me, and I'm telling you, I lost connection, so you can't hear me. <laughs> I just reconnected with my phone, <laughs> with my phone. So um, I remember you said I should give them the mm -hmm. the first, the model that you did for the class, ask this, and but I didn't hear the one for this particular. Let me make it this easier. You, you may go and confuse my <laughs> Nice. Right, I'm pressing the thing here so that good. So it's here. So we are redrawing this one, the one down here, to look like this one. You understand me? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Okay, it's not, it's not, I wanted to let the thing move, but it's not moving. <laughs> As dead or dark goes. Do you understand this now? Class, do you understand it? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Because um, I want you to, you guys to learn that that would be the best answer. We have combined, but I think I can see that we can be nicer if you do. So we draw, but remember that if you are redrawing, you learn from the above. This is one to guide you. Bless, how can I help you? So this is what we are doing. Please, I, I have a last question. Okay. Uh, please, I want to know if uh, the coding could cause a change in our uh, framework or there will be a need for... Good. The, so when you finish writing your analysis and things and analyzing and discussing this, one, you go and point out that the, the, the uh, um, exact literature was saying that this is how the collaboration should be. But from your research, from based on this case study, there is a change. Partner search is, is, an, is, is, is a consequence of this. Motives, uh, partner search is a consequence of motives, partners, uh, partner search mechanisms, and then a uh, market study. Whilst um, 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 a partner selection is motives, supply evaluation, and, and, and motives and supply, supply evaluation. I hope you understand me. Good, but in between it, you are going to then tell us that the two are interrelated to each other by what? The market study. The market study helps you to shortlist some 
patterns that you can then what suppliers then you can then what supply um, evaluate them that's all okay thank so you will bring a different company but you see but the variables are still important and another thing is that you, know, you now see that supply evaluation is a consequence of a number of things a contract based collaboration uh, cultural preparedness management evaluate management and performance evaluation. this is about the person's resources resource complementarity adequate time to know each other and clearly refine criteria that's also a finding your board, which was not there. So usually, if your your research there's some valuable for some value, something of valuable value in it, it will come from your, your coding. If your coding is bad, you will not be able to just find anything interesting. Oh, okay, sir. Good. So if you are going to do discussions, your your work, I will discuss motives as one. Discuss this, discuss this, discuss that, and each of them I will show how they are they come together. The variables come together to inform it. Yeah. Bless, what's your question? Uh, I think that is the question you, you just answered. Okay. I was asking if the coding will have an effect of the framework we use for the editing, the work. Good. And that is one thing that we do. We are doing something we call, um, sometimes they call it theory, uh, theory elaboration or theory, uh, or another people to have another one called theory testing. The theory that you take to the field, you look at it and then come back and inform the theory. <laughs> yes, bless your hand is up again. No, sir, I will drop it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've learned a lot even in this session. So let's, 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 um, I'll get this one there at because of the way you are prepared for exams. And all the videos are supposed to be ready by next week, so you can have it. So this is what I want to do it and bring it to class next week because I'll be using the same case study to do thematic eval thematic what we call thematic um analysis. And I'll also show you uh, next week they will have to try and spend some more time. I'll also show you another one called uh the this is the first level of the mouse of human code. Mouse of human before you finish, you have to come up with what we call conclusions. What do you say about this? What do you say about this? So I'll show you how to do that one too. So we'll continue with this one, then we'll come up with conclusions out of it. So maybe I'll teach you thematic, and after that I'll teach you, then we we'll, won't practice the thematic, we'll rather go to mouse and human. And after that, because well, you're doing mouse and human, you do thematic. This is mouse and human coding. After coding, you go to memoing. After memoing, you come up with um with the, the what we call the conclusions. The conclusions will be based on what, what do you say about this. And then I have to teach you how to write a concluding statement. Some people may ask that, what is Prof talking about? When you look at all these papers that you read, um, um, this paper, look at this. This one is purely Mouse and Huberman. Even though, look at this. This is what I mean by conclusions. You do all the discussions in lesson three. In micro trading activities, the benefit, this is what we, this is the conclusion from the theoretical construct. So you say this, that's what Mouse and Human makes you say. You, what are the conclusions you came up with? So those diagrams are not for doing for being sick. You have to use the, them to discuss. After discuss, then you come up with conclusions. Thank you very much. No worries. Please, assignment, will we submit it or not? No, we're discussing, guys. An exam. How can you submit it? Thank you. By discussing so that we know the right answer. So that when the time is up, we can, we can, you can reproduce. You can go and do it yourself. <laughs> Prof, please, if you could add the table to the reason for us. The table is in all the paper. Over, share it with them. The one we develop ourselves. Yes, it's inside. Okay, thank you. Finding supplies online. That was the, the question. Is there then the Table develop, but in exams maybe I will just bring an extract of that of the text. It will not be that, that this was three pages. It was a lot. That's why we struggled. So I'll just bring some extract from it so that you yourself will think about it. So we are supposed to do something like this. In fact, maybe I have to take this one to the back rather. Let me leave it there. You are trying to redraw this one to fit this style and come and show it to me in class. We understand it again. Yes, sir, Prof. Yes, sir, Prof. Yes, please, Prof. Yes, 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 Prof.
Ô, velho. Fala, pro. Thank you, my much. I didn't know some people said that we should be close. Sorry. The, those who didn't, who had to leave for this, and they should know that the thing has been has been recorded, so they can watch it. Thank you. I enjoyed myself today reading what we have done. It's very interesting. So I'm doing it. Okay. Thank you.